So the project itself is uh, working with four organisations in the city to support uh, families and children in the city, specifically over Christmas, in providing nutritional meals and food parcels, funding from UNICEF, which is the first time that UNICEF have actually given emergency funding into the UK. What sort of benefits will it bring to people in Plymouth? Plymouth needs this funding and it needs the project. There's a lot of excellent work going on. We need everything we can get. There are a lot of individuals that have been thrown into food insecurity that maybe previously hadn't been and the pandemic has worsened the situation. How has it highlighted the importance of the need for projects like this? The evidence shows that the number of adults and children at risk of food insecurity has quadrupled across the UK. Redundancy, furlough, (laughs) instability of income, inability to access food healthy food, especially for vulnerable people. Your overall hopes for this project and how it will help families in Plymouth? My overall hope is that we're in a position where we don't have to provide this, but actually that is um, a dream, I think, um, because it is going to continue. But we have to get to the stage of, of helping families, you know, to help themselves. If all we were doing was just providing food, then with the greatest respect a food bank would do that. This is more than just food. This is about education. This is about nutritional information. 